you know when i get a new phone every year the, there are few things which i expect to be better with the new phone and one of those things is the camera with the 15 pro max i feel the camera has improved however the front facing camera especially on video leaves somewhat uh, you know some a lot to be desired actually you know because it's not very sharp the contrast isn't very accurate and i often feel it's a bit lacking so when i'm trying to click a photograph of something which is very near to the phone the phone takes some time to register it and i have to literally go back come forward and only then does it take a photograph apart from that the camera is pretty much spectacular i think it is an improvement but it's an iterative improvement over the 14 pro i think the images are much much sharper now than before some photographs are absolutely brilliant it's crystal clear as a portrait image in fact, you're always guessing. Sometimes I go to the portrait mode, but sometimes I go to the regular mode and I really love that about the camera. What do I hate about this phone? My MG ZS EV uses a wired CarPlay, you know, and that no longer works. I, I have been very lazy, I've just been waiting, but it's been almost two months and I'm getting a bit annoyed now because I'm not able to use CarPlay and I have to carry my phone around like a fool to see directions. Number th uh, three, I'm going to talk about the display. Yes, the display is a little better than the previous uh, edition, the 14 Pro, but is it something which you can actually notice? Yes and no. I can notice it because I have the 14 Pro, but unless you're coming from the 13 Pro Max, you won't be able to notice the 15 Pro Max display and be like, wow, this is amazing. I don't think it's going to happen. As far as the speed and software is concerned, I think some optimization is required, but then I am what I think is a multi... Um, I mean, I, I think I consider myself an advanced user and I feel sometimes the phone glitches and slows down. It's not very, it's, I mean, it's not perfect. It's good 90% of the time, but 10% of the time it's gonna give you a headache, especially if you're one of those people who always forget to charge their phone and your phone is on low battery, forget about it. Everything is gonna glitch. It's not gonna do a good job at all. Uh, moving on. Well, one of the, another idea that I feel the iPhone is lacking is that the speaker is not very clear, it's not very loud. I feel the speaker could have been a lot better than it actually is. Um, I love this USB-C slot. It has completely changed my life. I now look forward to charging my phone. The battery life on this is stellar. I would give the battery life a perfect 10 out of 10. I have no issues. I've only run out of battery once and that was when I was drunk. This shortcut button, I think it leads to FOMO because you'll always keep thinking what I should use it for. This is what I use it for. I press this and the torch starts. You can use it for a bunch of things if you do that, but I don't really care for it much. Um, overall, I think 15 Pro Max is a great phone. Uh, the camera is good. The sound, the speaker could have been a bit louder and more clear. The display is pretty good. Um, it's not a wow upgrade for a 14 Pro user, but uh, if you have FOMO like I clearly do, then I think you should definitely get this phone. Overall, I'm happy with the 15 Pro Max. Um, I, I, I still like using it without a case. I have dropped it maybe six or seven times on hard floors and marble floors and granite floors, and it still doesn't have any, any scratch, as you can see. Um, the sides and everything is in uh, crystal clear condition. I had a case, I had a screen protector on it, but it took a couple of beatings and it had that tempered glass, had the little crack on it across it. So I took it off and now I'm not rocking any kind of um, a screen protector. I will roll with the punch. If something happens to the screen, if it gets a couple of scratches, I'm just gonna live with it. Or I'll, you know what, after a year or two, if, I'm, if I really am in still in love with this phone, I'll just get it changed, man. I'll figure out a way. I'll spend the 10, 15,000 rupees or 20,000 bucks. If I really have to, if I really can't live with it, then I will. Otherwise, I'll just effing live with it, man. But I can't be arsed to be one of those tempered glass. I don't know, there's something very uncool about people who put tempered glasses. And I, I, I don't know, I, I, I think it's probably a moral issue with me. I feel, how can I be someone with a tempered glass? I really am not that guy. Even for my Apple Watch Ultra, which I just got recently, another review for this is coming very soon. I don't like to be the guy with a tempered glass, dude. It's so corny, man. How corny can you get? I mean, I'll use a case, but that's about as corny as I let myself be. And I'll use a case because the phone is damn slippery and I don't want to break it into a million little pieces. I wanted to keep this under five minutes. Thank you for watching. Bye. Should you get this phone? I don't know. Am I happy I got this phone? Yes, pretty much. Do I love this phone? No. Do I like it? A lot. Bye.